Hola, here to do a general collective reading, guys. Today we are checking in, no communication, what's going on with your person. Once again, no communication, what's going on with your person. The past two weeks of this have been fire, fire. So let's check in. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. We will do an extended read on this. We will take a deeper dive into the overview and we just gonna free flow like we do because we never know what we need to know. Uh, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can find all of that information in the description box below. If you'd like to book a life coaching session with me because I am a certified professional life coach, meaning I went to school to study the art of life coaching, just didn't stamp those initials on the back of my name. You can find that information down below. If you're interested in about 80% of the decks that I use on this channel, they're linked down below. Plus a lot of other stuff, some of my favorite vitamins, the uh, facial stuff, all kind of stuff is listed or linked down below in a list titled, these are a few of my favorite things. And if you'd like to donate to the channel in any way, you can find my cash app down below. You can find my GoFundMe down below and you can find everything else down below. Just so you all know, for everybody who has been checking in and checking up on me, I am uh, feeling a lot better. So the natural holistic things that I'm doing are working. I feel a little, uh, I say a lot better because I was feeling really bad. So I am, I think, on my way to wholeness, y'all, with the remembrance of wholeness. So thank you everyone who has checked in on me, um, who has inquired, who has just donated everything. I really appreciate you all. So on the count of three, let's take our deep breath. One, two, three. Universe. Checking in with our person. Please let us know what is going on with them. Universe, we're checking in with our person. Let us know what's going on with them. Please make these messages as simple as possible. Two cards. Too many fell out. Three cards fell out. Universe, one at a time, please. One at a time. We have just so done. Mentally tapped, emotionally spent. We have taking out the trash. We have me and my ego. Let's get one more universe. The unsaid. <laughs> oh, at the bottom of the deck later, dude. Holla. All right, let me put a cloth down here. I don't know why that wasn't out prior, but let's get one out here. And we have later, dude. I don't know that's right. Universe, what is going on with our person? Please be as clear as possible, universe. What is going on? No communication. What's going on with them? We have, wow. Well, here we go. Here we go. We have true love. We have vulnerability. We have two cards fill out, longing and finances. Bottom of the deck, we have strictly sexual. All right, so what I am getting here is that your person right now is going through a type of defeating energy. Your person feels like life is just not working out for them. Um, everything that they, and, and we may have talked about this in the last couple of weeks, but I, I don't remember. But your person feels like um, where they are in their life currently is just... They're, they're at ground zero, period, point blank. They're at ground zero. Um, I don't feel that your person is just reflecting up on you all's connection. I feel like your person is really reflecting up on their life. And I feel like one of the most vital things that they are pulling from this, you know, there are various things, right? There are a myriad of things that they feel are most vital. They, there are some connections that they have harmed in um, a very nasty way that, 
they are now very sad about, um, drained about, can't stop thinking about. It's almost as if your person is being haunted by what they've done to you, to others in their life and how they pushed you all away. And now I feel as though your person needs you. They need these people that they pushed away. And because they're at ground zero, they're realizing you know, just what this connection was to them. They're realizing how um, deep or the depths of this connection emotionally and physically and how unconditionally the love was here and how that was really damaged. And so I feel as though your person is going through the process of ridding their life of attributes, characteristics, things that no longer serve them, things that have gotten them to this point. I also feel like your person could have recently lost their job um, or could have recently lost um, their home or their housing. I feel as though your person is in the process of still releasing and making space. And I feel that your person is longing for you, longing to have, a com have some communication with you, longing to reach out to you, longing to touch you to feel you right and, and i'm not talking about in a sexual way i'm talking about just being near you and talking i really don't feel like there is any sexual energy exuding from your person right now because your person is being humbled and your person just needs an ear they need to bend someone's ear or they need to talk or just sit in silence peacefully with someone that they can trust um, with their energy right now because your person is extremely vulnerable right now and I feel as though even though they are in ground zero or at ground zero and even though they have this sense of vulnerability and even transparency and even though they are ridding themselves out of their life ridding themselves out of their life they owe them they are but even though they are getting rid of the things that no longer serve them that have gotten them to this place right now, right? They still have that sense of ego that will not allow them to reach out to you. They still have that pride that I think now is transforming into fear because they are reflecting upon the things that they have done in this connection. They are reflecting upon what they've done to you in this connection. And we're talking about this connection specifically because there's a lot of other stuff that they have to work out as well. And that's really what's stopping them. It's not just as simple as you're the only thing that they messed up in their life. This connection was not the only thing. They've messed up a lot of different opportunities um and and it's catching up with them you know and i feel that your person is in a state of depression i feel like your person is in a state of not only longing for you and longing for this connection and longing for how things used to be when things were quote unquote good but also longing for a lot of those opportunities that they passed up or passed by or that they were ejected from because of the way that they approach these situations or the way that they disregarded these situations and opportunities, the way that they may not have taken them seriously. You know, when this person was really sitting on their throne and really in an ego stance, this person was ruthless, you know, and they weren't thinking about the future. They weren't thinking about consequences. They were thinking about themselves and themselves only and only in that moment, which is why it's very difficult right now for your person to be present because in truth your person is time traveling and right now they're in the past unable to see the future still right but instead of advancing from the present into a vision of the future so that they could create from that they're stuck in the past right now because they are now having to go back and work through a lot of the quote-unquote karma that was created and karma is relative karma to say the word karma and to understand or understand karma as energy karma is not about being good or bad Kar karmic relationships are not good or bad karmic re karmic relationships and karma itself is nothing but a lesson we receive what we give period point blank so you know a lot of tarot card readers have to stop addressing others that your person may connect to as karmic relationships and talking about them in a negative way or a negative connotation because karma is not negative karma is relative negative positive no none of that shit matter karma is what you give it 
That's it. Karma is a mirror reflection of what you give it. And so I think that your person was connecting to other people. Um, and I feel as though <clears throat> you may have known about those situations because I don't feel that it was a secret. But I feel that all of those situations, you may have given them more credit, more energy, more um, space in your person's life than they really held. And so I think that those situations were just strictly sexual. I think they were connections to preoccupy themselves. I think that when they were sitting on their high horse and when they were very egotistical, I think that all of those connections were um, kind of a way, they were trophies, right? It was like your, per your person was collecting trophies and they were, you know, some of them could have had a midlife crisis where they were just seeing if they could, if they still had it or if they could get this person or if they could get that person or whatever the case may be. It was like your person wanted everything and everybody that wanted them um, without thinking of consequences or emptiness or, you know, tomorrow. They wanted what they wanted in the moment and they thought of only themselves, you know? So they made a lot of i just saw 11 11 on the clock they made a lot of quote unquote bad decisions decisions that did not serve them decisions that did not serve their growth decisions that did not facilitate or stimulate any type of growth or unfolding or evolving right and so i feel as though um your person has walked away from now those situations not because that person may have done something which they could have but not because that person did something to them or not because they didn't love them or not because they don't want to be with them. They never took these people seriously in the first place, but they never took you seriously in the first place either because they weren't thinking of anyone else but themselves, right? And so they were able to push off emotions and push off true love and push off the, the depth of the truth of all of this. They felt it when they wanted to, but they had a good way of just disconnecting from that whenever they wanted to as well. And so now I feel that your person is um, turning the tables on themselves and they're disconnecting from all of these things that no longer serve them. Um, they may be having some financial issues. They are really, really, really wanting to talk to you all and really having difficulty staying away from you, not reaching out to you, not connecting to you, not communicating with you at all. Um, and they're on a, they're holding on to the last little thread, the last little string. But I feel as though your person is just in a state of no, it's like your person is null and void right now. Mm-hmm. Period. Let's see what we have. Look at this. Later, dude. So we have later, dude. Look at this. Mr. and Mrs. Fix It. Let's set these so I can see them all. Mr. and Mrs. Fix It. And look at this. Invest. Which leaves at the bottom of the deck. Look at this. And they know you ain't playing. They know you ain't playing. You both have leveled up. And so your person is walking away from things that no longer serve them. They're walking away from, you know, everything that has gotten them to the place that they've gotten themselves to, including that part of themselves that is a, that has facilitated all of this, this mess. And your person is wanting to fix things and and it really doesn't matter like we're not talking about reconciliation here right we're talking about spiritual evolution your person wants you in their life you know we haven't gotten as far to see and i don't even think that your person is clear enough to see if they want a relationship your person wants to be better and they want to right the wrongs that they created in your life by connecting with you when they were unavailable and they want to invest in themselves enough to where they can speak up and they know that the way in which to really correct things right now the beginning of it the first steps are to speak up and they're terrified because they know behind all of this that they've hurt you and that you are not playing with them right now and so we have strictly sexual we have denial didn't i say this is so much bigger than sex 
and spiritual lesson. So your person was in denial of the spiritual lesson that was at hand. Your person was not allowing themselves to grow, develop, and unfold. So instead, they preoccupied themselves with all of these situations that were strictly sexual, that didn't offer anything. And now at the bottom of the deck, we have self-care. So your person is no longer fighting off, I want to say, the spiritual revolution that is happening within them. They're not delaying it. They're not fighting it off. They're not playing around. Not that they're diving into it. Not that they're running, you know, diving head first or anything like that. But they are surrendering. They are allowing. They're not fighting the universe they're not fighting their destiny. They're not fighting the pain. They're not fighting the darkness, nor are they fighting the light. Your person is surrendering to what is, and they pretty much are saying to the universe, let's do it. Whatever you want to do, let's just do it. Because they have realized that in fighting against all this goodness that was trying to come to them, you know, I don't think that it appeared as goodness. I don't think you all's connection was so perfect. I think there was trying times in there. And I think that there was there were things in there that spooked you both in regards to if I lose this person, I could lose my my stability, my grounding. I could lose a lot. You know, the more I invest in this person, the more I stand to lose. And I think your person saw that and got spooked. And I think that your person is just not willing to, I think they tried to do it on their own. And I think that they tried to show the universe that they knew better than the universe. And I think that they, you know, went off and tried to get the job that they thought they were in, in alignment with. And they went off and they were messing and sleeping with the people they thought they were in alignment with because they weren't willing to grow. And look at where it got them, you know? So they're sitting in that, they're stewing in that. They get it. And they are surrendering to it all now. Whatever will be, will be. Because I'm I'm making uh, a mockery out of life, you know? So that's where they are, not in a good place. There's nothing to gloat over. If you're gloating right now, this reading is not for you. I tell you that right now. If I see any comments of people gloating, at, and, and I'm, I can tell this person has done something to hurt you because this person is feeling that now. And so, you know, it was a boomerang effect. So I'm not saying that this person is not without fault. I'm not saying that this person was nice and, and doesn't deserve this or anything like that. But, you know, when people start... When they start receiving the karma that they send out to the universe, whether it's quote unquote good or bad, we celebrate the good, you know, and, and we, if we've grown, we hope that they can see their way through the bad because quite honestly, all of us have done things that none of us are proud of. And all of us have a chapter in our lives that we don't read out loud. And so this person is no different, you know? And nastiness is nastiness. Evil is evil. Fear is fear. Pain is pain. There are no levels to that, you know? There are no levels to that. The universe isn't like, oh, well, they only stole penny candy. So that ain't, that ain't as bad as stealing a Snickers. The universe, there's no levels to it, you know? Because it's all rooted out of the same thing. So, so we're going to take a deeper dive into all of this. I don't know what we're going to do or where we're going to go or where it's going to lead us, but I'm going to pull some more cards. So if you'd like to join me over in the extended, the link is down below. If you want to get a personal reading with me, you can do so. I'm all caught up currently. All of that information is linked down below. If you want to follow me on TikTok, it is Mystic Butterfly and the Red Pill Pusher. On Instagram, it's the Red Pill Pusher with two H's and a push. And on Facebook... I have a group called the Brave Heart Experience. You don't want to follow me nowhere because you know my crazy ass is lost too. You don't have to. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. <laughs>